What is going on everybody? Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. And today I'm going to be talking about should you upgrade to the Samsung Galaxy S20 from the Galaxy S10. You bought this last year when it came out or you bought it at the beginning of this year. Whatever it is, I'm going to talk about should you upgrade your S10e to the new Galaxy S20 lineup. So like I said, if you bought this phone at the beginning of 2019 or even at the beginning of 2020, I don't think you should upgrade this. Now, you ask why? Mainly because, I mean, you probably bought this at a retail price of 750 or you bought it on sale at a really good price. It doesn't matter. Phones nowadays, they're pretty big investments. And the specs inside the Galaxy S10e, they'll last you for at least another two years. So maybe you upgrade in 2022 to the Galaxy S 2022. This will be fine. I mean, right now we got Android 10. Uh, we're guaranteed to get Android 11. You know, you might not get Android 12, but then again, it's still a very capable phone. Snapdragon 855, six gigabytes of RAM. It's got very good cameras. It's got a headphone jack. It's a pretty compact phone, and I know a lot of people really enjoy compact phones. The Galaxy S20 lineup starts at 6.2 inches, goes up to 6.7 with the Galaxy S20 Plus, and 6.9 with the massive Galaxy S20 Ultra. So when you look at this and compare it, that's going to be pretty, pretty good in size. It's going to be a pretty compact phone. I wish Samsung came out with a Galaxy S20e, but they didn't. Now, like I said, big investment, 750 bucks. Is it worth paying the 999 base price for the Galaxy S20? No, like I said, this is a perfectly capable phone. Like MKBHD said, I feel like I agree with him because we did kind of reach the peak of smartphones. We're getting less and less improvements, Phones are lasting longer. You can probably use this phone for at least two, three more years. You don't need to go out and buy a new phone every single year. The specs inside this will get you through that two, three year life cycle. But the biggest factor that plays in this is probably going to be price. If we look at the base of the S20 999, then we go up to the S20 Plus, that's going to be 1199. And then we go up to Galaxy S20 Ultra. It's a whopping $13.99. And if you wanted to get the 512 gigs of storage with the 16, a whopping 16 gigabytes of RAM, you see that computer right there? That's twice as much as RAM as my MacBook Pro. Anyway, and other people's laptops as well. Anyway, if you wanna get that model, that's upwards of near $1,600. $1,600. You can probably buy, uh, with the discounts right now, um, you can probably buy at least three to four Galaxy S10e's in place of one Galaxy S20 Ultra. So really, is it worth all that money? And then next year, the S21, whatever they're going to call it, is going to come out, and you're going to be like, hey, that one's cooler than my S20 Ultra. I wanna buy that. And that's probably going to be the same price with the way everything's looking like, prices are just gonna to continue to keep rising. Seriously, what more can you want from a compact flagship phone? This was voted for MKBHD, the best compact flagship phone. Look at it, it's a 5.8 inch screen, it fits in one hand, it's got a super fast fingerprint sensor, an awesome AMOLED display. It might not be that 120 hertz like the S20, but it's still a very, very, very vibrant display. Like you're not going to have any issues at all with it. You can't go wrong with the Galaxy S10e. It's got, it's got really capable cameras. Remember, headphone jack, you're not getting that in the S20. Keep that in mind. The fact is, phones are lasting longer and longer. And we're getting less huge leaps in each generation of smartphones. Now, if you take a look at the beginning of like 2010, 2011, when we were getting like the iPhone 3G and the iPhone 4 and jumping from like the Galaxy Note to the Note 2 or Note 3, those are huge jumps. We're getting huge processor upgrades, uh, huge internal upgrades, software upgrades, things like that. Now we're just bumping up numbers. 
we're just getting 16 gigabytes of RAM, even though eight gigs is perfectly fine. Even six gigs on the Galaxy S10 Eve. I've used this for almost a month now and I've had no issue at all. Six gigs of RAM is perfectly fine. Now, when you compare something like the Pixel 4 at that price to like the iPhone or not the iPhone, but like the Galaxy S10 or new S20s, yeah, six gigs for that price for a flagship phone isn't really that much, but six gigs in the S10e, it's, it holds up really well. I've had no issues, no lag, no nothing. So, I mean, going up to 16 gigs, for example, way too much. 128 gigs of internal storage, and you can add a micro SD card slot to the S10e. You'll be pretty fine with storage. You won't have any issue at all. I don't know too many people that go with like a 256 or a 512 gig option anyway. As long as you have expandable storage, you're fine with 128 gigs. And there's also this. When they released, at the time of this recording, um, I'm actually recording this a day after the Unpacked event, but as soon as they unveiled the Galaxy S20 Ultra, I went to their website and I wanted to see the trade-in value just because there are people that do trade in their phones every year and get the new model. That's great. But if you have an S10e that you bought for 750, if you bought it for 750, you can only get a value of $300 for this trade-in. Now, if you trade in something like the S10 or the S10 Plus, you're getting $600, so that's twice as much. But you didn't pay twice as much more for the S10 or S10 Plus. 300 for the trade-in for the S10e, I think it's a little bit low. I mean, if you think about it, you're pretty much taking off 300 off a thousand. You're still paying $700 for a brand new phone. If you wanted to go something with like the Ultra, I mean, $300 off a $1,400 phone, you're pretty much still paying more than what you can get with an iPhone. You can still buy two Galaxy S10e's for the price of $1,100, maybe even three if you find a super sweet deal. It's just not worth it. The value of this has dropped. If, I would definitely would not recommend trading this in. So take that off the list if you were thinking about trading this in. 300 is just not enough. You can definitely sell this um, on like eBay or Craigslist or even like let go for something even more. You can get more for what you paid for than selling it or trading it to Samsung or even something uh, like any other carriers if they have any trade-in values as well. So to anybody who got the Galaxy S10e, you have an awesome phone. Now I wouldn't know if you bought it for the price at the time or if you bought it for its size and how compact it is, but you made a super good choice. You're not doing anything wrong with the Galaxy S10e. Keep that phone in your pocket, save not some money, save a lot of money by skipping the Galaxy S20. Now, by the time you're like Black Friday comes or if there's any super sweet deals that get like half off the price of like the Galaxy S20 lineup, then maybe then I would say consider. But don't, especially since you have a flagship that's still considered a flagship, a year later, it's only a year old, I want an upgrade to the next flagship, the Galaxy S20. 20. Keep this phone in your pocket. As long as you get, you're getting another year of Android. We're going to be getting Android 11 pretty much with the Galaxy S10 lineup and S20s as well. But the thing is, Samsung has been pretty good with their Android 10 updates in late 2019 and early 2020. Samsung was known to be very late to updating their phone software, but I already have the February security patch and on my OnePlus 7 Pro, I, I don't I don't have that. Like I, I don't have the February security patch, which is kind of upsetting. So OnePlus started off well, but Samsung gained some track and now this is even more up to date than my OnePlus 7 Pro, which is pretty good. So if you have this phone, definitely hold on to it. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to superman that like button, comment down below, because with the more interactions we get on this video, not only helps the video and the channel, but also pushes the video out to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video, this is MTG.